Hey y'all, <clears throat> spur of the moment, idea, impromptu video involves creeks and arrowhead hunting again. Hang with me, we're going to try something just real quick here. This is Hickbilly Outdoors with DW Verts. Here's the deal, y'all. Um, wanted to go do some point hunting maybe today. It's a kind of a cooler, nice day, a little bit overcast. Um, trying to decide where I wanted to go without wading through so many bugs and crud. And it dawned on me. I mean, this is one of my favorite creeks. But this is where all the trespassers are. This is a low water bridge. Everybody hunts here. Everybody comes here. That road's even beat down through there. On the creek, illegals all get out. People hunting here. I thought, you know what? I found stuff behind folks many times. I'm gonna go right here. It's been months since the last high water event, the last flood brought new stuff in. I'm gonna spend 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna hunt down here a little ways and see if I can find something somebody else has left behind. Does that make any sense? I think it'd be a cool thing if I could find something. This somebody else is left behind. So I'm going to grab my implement of destruction, my old hoe, which I need to make me a new one. I'll show you all that someday if you want. And I'm going to walk this thing and do some looking and, and see if uh, see if these, the tweakers and the trespassers have left, and some serious point hunters too, see if they've left anything behind. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start right up here by the road. And like I said in my last video, it seemed to go over pretty well. I'm looking for difference in colors, difference in shapes. Most of this rock is brown to gray to white. I'm looking for something out of the ordinary. I'm going to go right by this bridge because these bridges, and we'll maybe talk someday about the dynamics of this. The water coming off the backside of this bridge leaves a backwash of current. And sometimes it leaves stuff laying right here close. And people step over it and go on down the creek looking for greener pastures and step right over stuff that they shouldn't be stepping over. See, I, it's nothing. I saw the shape. I saw it flat. Nothing. Still. Doesn't cost anything to pick them up and look, so... Without wasting everybody's time running a ton of footage here that I have to edit, I'm just going to shut this thing off. It would be so cool to find one while it's on and running, but not counting on that. So we're going to do a little looking and, uh, again, talk over some of the dynamics maybe of how this stuff works. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is nothing here, but I want to show you that color difference. And it has some shape going towards it too. I'm fairly certain that is nothing, but I believe probably it's been hit on by man. So I'd pull it out real quick. It's been rough, guys. It's a uh, the people been down here. The campfires, not as much trash. I'm kind of impressed. Yeah, definitely been hit on. Just. That shiny color set, even a fire pop maybe right there. But that salt laying underneath that little weed, so trying to find some content. I'm still looking. I thought I'd try to give a tip. Since this isn't going really well, which is okay. It's still a nice day and I'm not wasting too much time. Here's my tip. For me, I find very, very, very few points on pretty clean gravel 
pea gravel, small rock. I suspicion that it's because nothing is there to catch them when the water's flowing and fresh water's bringing artifacts in, if that makes sense. Not that I haven't found them, not that you shouldn't look. You always look. Okay, that real pretty pea gravel, small rock, does not seem to stop very many artifacts. I'll say it and I'll find a big old Dalton right now, which would just be cool. Okay? If you're trying to maximize your time, and you can walk it faster, and you could also point out that possibly they're easier to see and easier to find, but I'm talking about years of looking right after floods. I don't find a lot of stuff. What I'm going to do is spend more careful time, if that makes any sense, getting where there's larger rock, like down here, and I'm talking baseball, softball, cantaloupe size to small boulders. I think it breaks up the water flow. I think it has more of a tendency to, to, to stop pretty chert in his tracks. There's a piece there that's been whacked on. Nothing fancy, but I can tell again by the patina, got some percussion marks on it. Look at that. Big old flake drawed off of that one. Look at that purdy. That's a real deal. So that's my tip. And this still isn't a big enough rock field like I like, but there's larger rock. I think it stops the chert that we're looking for. So if that helps you guys, I'm going to do a tip like that every time I shoot one of these videos. I got quite a few of them. Again, it's hard to share stuff like this, little tricks. It's almost as bad as sharing fishing information. That may be worse. So we're not done yet, but that is definitely a piece that's been hit on, whacked on, the patina. Big old flakes, see some percussion marks. There you go. We're going to look for a little bit longer. I asked Mr. Turtle. He said he hadn't found anything yet either. He's looking. See, he's digging. He's trying to find something. Hard-working young man right there. Well, he sure is purdy anyway. I'm going a, I'm to a give up and head back towards the truck. I haven't really went very far, looked very hard. At least that's my excuse. It, uh, it was really impromptu. I said it just off the cuff, decided to go do this. Uh, skeeters and horse flies are fixing to take me out. So there have been a lot of people down here. Look, that's not exactly the best rope swing I've ever seen. A lot of this, um, a lot of little campfires. The most amazing thing is a lack of trash. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it says hello and like a soccer ball or something drawn on it. Look at that. Just amazing. Oh, and a middle finger. Isn't that sweet? You've got to be kidding me. That's just weird. People spend a lot of time down here, though. That's, I guess, the point. So. I'm still finding little bitty things, and I've got a something I found up at the truck to start with. I'm going to show you before we quit. So I'm going to head back up that way. Seriously, I'm only maybe 150 yards down the creek. Um, anytime I get to walk a creek is better than not getting to walk a creek at all. So this was kind of a silly thing, but if I'd have found something that looked like a hero, um, not very good looking like heroes, so... head back up there and I got one more thing to show y'all so this is interesting here um, it's a whole pile of flakes debitage and my first assumption was somebody emptied their pockets out after hunting here except that looks more like field stuff but then I started looking around I mean, there's a fair bit of it still in the ground. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. I put, look, there's a piece way up there. Just a little flake. Not really sure. You find this in fields. I mean, that's a lot of stuff in one spot. Look, there's one there. It's, I don't know. I really 
really don't. There it is right there. I don't know what what has happened here. I said to me it looks like somebody dumped her pockets out. Got a piece here that, you know, it's obviously got the ripples. A beautifully made flake. Very thin flake. Look at that. Got the ripples in the back. It's been heat treated. That's why it's pink. A couple there like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. There's a broken base. Look at that. I'll be dead gum. That's a broken base. <laughs> well, how's that for in situ? I'll be dead gum. I don't know what I'm looking at here, guys. Interesting. Well, it, I, see, that's stupid, but that kind of made my trip right there. It's actually a little bitty broken. Well, I just dropped it again. <laughs> Look at that. I'll be dead again. Okay. There's another one right there. I don't know. I am a little bit confused with what might have happened there. Somebody found all that and emptied their pockets out. But some of that stuff's been... I was digging stuff out of the dirt a while ago. Well, we're in the middle of territories. We're in the middle of one of my best spots that I've ever hunted. Okay, anyway, enough of that. So I did find a broken base. I guess that's cool. Guys, again, hopefully that was a tip you can use. I don't find a lot of stuff on... Of course, you can't find a cleaner bank in that bare dirt, but I don't find a lot of stuff on gravel. I've been there right after floods. It doesn't work for me. I still hunt it because that's what you got to do. You've got to look everywhere because they're rocks. They fall where they fall. I like to get around these bigger rocks like this. This is a little better here. And probably get away from the people. I'm going to try to do a tip like this every time I do a rock hunting deal. And that, I've got a dozen just on the creeks alone. I've got a lot of things. I ain't going to try to share it all because someday I'm going to die if I don't share it. Nobody's going to have a clue. Folks, this is Dale Verts. Sometimes it's okay to be me. A lot of times it ain't. I am a hickbilly, not a hillbilly. Hillbillies just drink beer and talk about rock hunting. I go do it. Hope y'all like this. Let me know. We're going to keep on and keep it on. We're going to keep on trying this. Try to show you some new and exciting things. And I promise you I'll find some more points and stuff before I'm done because I'm in the middle of it here in Morgan County. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you later.